I posted a tweet a little while ago where I said that as an entrepreneur, I'm super excited for AI because it's going to help me build and do things so much faster than if I didn't have it. But as an employee and a software developer that does this as a job and a career, I am a little bit worried about where we'll be in the next five years. And I got to say that recently I've been coding a lot. I've been building a lot. I've been trying to get this app that me and my wife are working on out and I have been leaning into using AI as a tool a lot lately. And I will say that as a developer, I feel that it has 10 x my output, but it's kind of hurting me in grasping concepts and like digesting information because I am getting to the point where I'm just kind of like dumping code in, getting what it gives back, seeing if it works. If it doesn't work, I try to figure some other stuff out. And now that I'm working in Laravel, which is PHP, and I don't have a lot of PHP experience, I am noticing that before when I was using the AI tools and it was JavaScript, like I really, really like understood what it was giving me. Like I, I felt better with the JavaScript because I felt more comfortable with it. But now as I'm getting a lot of this PHP code back in and I'm working in Laravel, which is a framework I'm not familiar with, or I, I am now, I guess, because I've been using it a bit now, but I, I'm not an expert or have been working in it for years. It feels like, like I'm just dumping the code in and AI is building it. I, I guess that's what it feels like. It feels like I'm not even building it. It feels like AI is building this. And when I go back through old code or if I have the touch stuff that, that I built with it, like it's not bad, but I can tell that it might be affecting my skills a bit. But when I think of it from an entrepreneurial standpoint, I don't really care. That might ruffle some feathers for the purists out there, for the elitist, the programmers, the real developers, not the self-taught guys like me, and, you know, the guys that actually went to, to college and have degrees and understand this stuff way better than I ever will. Don't care because I want to build fast and I want to get stuff done. And AI has been super helpful with that. And there's been some times when like, I've been using AI to explain concepts and things that I don't really understand. I've used it as a learning tool, but there have been times where I'm just doing CRUD functionality and I'm using the model view controller setup that Laravel offers. And I'm just like, give me this model, give me this view, give me this controller, give me all the code. You know, I gotta keep prompting chat GPT, like don't stop, don't give me commented out code, give it to me all. Cause I'm gonna paste this shit right in there and I'm gonna ship it and move on to the next thing I'm trying to build and the next thing I'm trying to get working. And it's made me very lazy in that sense, but even though I am super lazy, I am building so much faster than I would have done this if I was coding it all myself. And of course, that's going to affect like how much I understand of it, right? Because how, how would it not? But at the same time, like I said, I don't care. So if you're watching this and you're kind of thinking like, well, Dorian, like I come to you for advice on learning how to code because I really want to get a job. I don't care about building apps to try to make money with and I don't care about being a freelancer or I don't care about not understanding the concepts. I actually want to use it and I want to learn. Well, you can use it like that too, but I guess what I'm trying to tell you is that you'd be silly not to use it once you got a job because honestly, if, if I was working as a developer right now, I would use ChatGPT to get my work done a lot faster and then have a little extra free time. And if you're thinking like an entrepreneur and you want to like become a freelancer, man, I couldn't like right now is like probably such a good time to become a freelancer because you can just get so much more done. Like your output is going to be crazy good and so much greater than it would be without AI. And like, you know, this may be unethical, but if you're thinking like overemployment, like dude, if you can keep the same output at your current job and then find another development job where you can basically give half of your work to AI, and do two jobs at once, like why wouldn't you? Again, not ethical, but these are the things that go through my mind and I wanna kinda tell you guys, cause hey, why not? If we can get ahead and do a little bit of overemployment or crush it in freelancing with getting so much more work done because of a tool like this or crush it in building your own business because of a tool like this, like you really should. I use it for a lot of other things too, but I guess going back to what I've opened up with this video and talking about how like I feel that 
this is great for an entrepreneur and terrible for an employee. And I'm not sure like what it would be like in five years. I don't think that you should really be too worried about it. I definitely think that it should be used as a tool. But if you are in fact very focused on being career driven and you want to climb the ladder and you want to be a software developer and you want to work at a company and that's what you want to do, I still think that you should use AI. And if you're in the process of learning right now, if you're not currently employed and trying to get overemployed and, or slack off at work by having AI do the job for you, and you're in the process of learning, I had a one-on-one -on -one call, shout out to Izzy, guaranteed he's gonna get a job like way sooner than he anticipates, but he's got a good roadmap, he's been working really hard, and he's been using AI, and I have encouraged him to do so, but I tell him to use it differently than what I just described in this video. And I kind of tell him to use it that I've been using it to learn with. Like, you have a rubber ducky that gives you answers. You have a more senior developer. You have Stack Overflow without the assholes. You've got Google without having to dig through a bunch of blog posts or a bunch of other responses from different places. With ChatGPT and AI helping you code and helping you learn to code, you have the ability to learn things so much faster and you have the ability to grasp concepts so much quicker. And I don't want to get into the whole like, what would it be like in five years from now if AI does take over? Because that's not the topic of this video. I just want to say that while AI has 10x my output and it does make me feel like I'm a lazy developer who's not learning as much, I've 10x my output. I am a 10x developer because of AI. That's a good thing. <laughs> like, I don't think that's a bad thing. You gotta start thinking like that. Like, this stuff is here. It ain't going nowhere. It's gonna get more powerful. It's gonna get more popular. More companies are gonna use it. Embrace it, put it in your tool belt. Use it how you need to use it in order to 10x your development output at your job if that's what you wanna do. Use it, like I said, to get another job and then half the work for double the pay or just do half the work at your current job and just keep getting the same pay or use it to build businesses and 10x your output as a business owner or build your own SaaS idea or whatever it is that you want to get ahead with use it because it's here. It ain't going nowhere and you might as well take advantage of it and use it to your benefit because if you don't, you would be foolish. But at the same time, do recognize when you might be leaning into it a little too hard like I have been lately. But again, with what I'm trying to do with it, I don't care if it's making me lazy and making me a dumb developer because it's 10xing my output. And I'm gonna be able to build so many more things in the time frame that I had originally planned. And that's awesome. I don't care what anyone says. That's all I wanted to say. Hope this video was helpful. It's starting to get a little dark in here because the sun's going down and I'm losing some of my natural light. You better go use AI before it takes all of our jobs. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.